Hello and welcome to this presentation on the perfect Bayesian equilibrium. We'll be focusing on the paper published by Felix Munoz Garcia and the game and applying this concept to the game between monetary authority and the labour unions. A Bayesian equilibrium is present when there is perfect imperfect information and to get to the equilibrium it must satisfy that each player's strategies are optimal given the strategies of the other players given their beliefs and the beliefs are consistent with Bayes rules. Bayes rules is basically a quick calculation which takes into account the probability that event B occurs conditional on event A times the probability of event A occurring divided by the probability of event B occurring. The setup of the game. So we have two players, the monetary authority, the trade union. Nature selects what type the monetary authority is, strong or weak. And based on that, the monetary authority either chooses to announce high inflation or low inflation. And using Bayes rules, the trade union will update their beliefs based on the announcement to then select optimally whether to push for high wages or low wages. So finding the perfect Bayesian equilibrium. So first, you specify a strategy profile for the, the monetary authority. Second, you update the uninformed players using Bayes rules where possible to update the mu and gamma in our case uh, for the labor union. Third step, uh, using the beliefs of the uniform player, uh, uninformed player, we find the optimal responses. So whether to play high wages or low wages. Fourth, given the optimal response of the labour union, we find the optimal actions of the informed player. Um, if they match that strategy defined in step one, we have a perfect Bayesian equilibrium. So applying those steps to the game. So first, we define the strategy of, uh, for the monetary authority. So they play low when they're strong, high when they're weak. Second, we use Bayes rules to update the beliefs of the monetary um, for the labour union. So for Bayes rules, they, this calculation is stating that the probability that the monetary authority is strong, 60% chance, and makes a high inflation type, um, announcement, divided by the probability that any type of monetary authority announces high inflation. Alpha strong in this case is equal to zero. That states that there is 0% chance of when the monetary authority is strong, they announce high inflation. So based off this, we have a value of zero for mu, and that states whenever the uh, monetary authority announces high inflation, there is 0% chance they are strong. And for gamma, there is 100% chance that they are of a strong type when they announce low inflation. So based on these beliefs, we move on to step three. So the labour union, as mu equals zero, we know we're on this path here when they announce high inflation. And based off this, the, the labour union will always choose high as zero is greater than minus 100. And whenever the labor, when the monetary authority announces low inflation, the labor union knows that they're on this path here. So here they would choose zero, they would choose low wages as zero is greater than minus 100. So now moving on to step four, does the monetary authority have um, incentive to deviate based on these res optimal responses by the labor union? So let's say they are of a strong type and they play high inflation, then the labor union will always play high in this case. So they receive zero and as zero is greater than three is less than 300, the monetary authority has no incentive to deviate. Secondly, <clears throat> if the monetary authority is weak and, the, um, and they play low inflation, then they would receive 50 instead of 100. And therefore they have no incentive to deviate. So here we have a perfect Bayesian equilibrium. Also to note in this, in the paper um, by Felix, um, he also looks into the strategy profile high when strong and low when weak. Um, and we've proved here that this would not constitute a Bayesian perfect equilibrium as they would have an incentive to deviate to this strategy um, defined in this slide here. So now let's look at the pooling strategy where both types of monetary authority play high. So from this, if we look at mu, then we have 6% chance that 
when the monetary authority plays high announcement high inflation announcements then they are of a strong type for gamma we cannot define it using bayes rules um, so from this we can arbitrarily select a value between zero and one um, because we can, here we cannot define the off the equilibrium belief as it's a pooling strategy so based off this we can now look at step three um, and select the optimal strategies for um, the labor union so as we're not at a single node we have to take the expected utility and the expected utility is just the probability of each type okay so six percent uh, that they're high and forty percent that they're of a weak of six percent strong and from this um if they announce high inflation, then it's in the best interest for the labor union to respond with low salary increase as minus 40 is greater than minus 60. And then if we look at the equilibrium of the path, then when gamma is less than 50%, they will always play high. So now let's look at the monetary authority and see um, how they would respond to this and whether they'll stick to that strategy to find in step one. So if they play low inflation when they're of a strong, then they would they would receive 100 as when mu is less than 50 percent they will play high so they receive 100 and that is less than 200 so they don't have a uh, they don't have a incentive to deviate and again if they're weak and they play low then they would receive zero and as zero is less than 150 they have no incentive to deviate so they stick to high again so we have a bayesian perfect equilibrium however we don't have a Bayesian perfect equilibrium when gamma is greater than 50%. This is because when the um, monetary authority is strong, then the labor union would play low. They would see 300, and which is greater than 200 if they play high inflation, so the monetary authority will deviate. And therefore, when gamma is greater than or equal than a half, we don't have a perfect Bayesian equilibrium. Therefore, we can only state that Bayesian perfect equilibrium exists for the high, high strategy when gamma is less than 50%. So now let's look at the um, second pooling strategy where the monetary authority plays low in both types. So from this, we use Bayes rules again in step two. Um, so for gamma, we can see that when the monetary authority announces low inflation, there is 60% chance that they are of a strong type. And for mu, we cannot define the off the equilibrium path. Um, so we can give mu an arbitrary value between zero and one here. Um, so now moving on to step three, as we know the updated beliefs of the labor union, we would take the expected utility, uh, same as the previous um, strategy. Um, and from this, we can see that the labor union would select low salary increase as the um as the expected utility minus 40 is greater than minus 60 and then if we look at the off the equilibrium path then if mu is less than 50 percent then the labor union will choose high so based of these optimal responses does the monetary authority have the um, incentive to deviate from the strategy we define in step one and they do so if they if the monetary authority is of a weak type then if they were to play high inflation labor union if mu is less than half then the labor union will play high and as 100 is greater than 50 then the monetary authority has an incentive to deviate now if mu is greater than half or equal than half Again, the monetary authority has incentive to deviate because if they play high inflation um, and they're of a weak type, then they would labor union would play out, so they receive 150, which is greater than 50, and therefore the labor union, um, therefore the monetary authority would deviate to play high inflation. So now we have defined two um, Bayesian perfect equilibria where the monetary authority um, plays low when they're strong and high when they're weak, and where they both play high um, either type and gamma is less than 50%. Thank you for listening and hope you enjoyed. And here are my references.